Today, I am going to show you how you can make a fabric loader 1.14 server. All right, so let us begin. Before we begin, let's talk about LAN. With LAN, it's pretty easy. You just got to have the same mods as the other person. That's about it. But we want to play multiplayer, you know, pretty much online with friends. So I'm going to show you how you can make a server. All right. So right now we're currently playing on 14. I mean, 1.14.0. We're not playing on 1.14.1 or 2 because it's still pretty much like in pre and I don't want to play on any pre at the moment. So here's our server, the server that me and my brothers play and friends. So there's that one There's a demonstration that it works. It has all the mods. Okay. But how do we actually do this? Okay. So we got to go to the website. If you actually already downloaded this, you don't have to download it, but if you didn't and you deleted the, the installer, make sure to download it again, whether you're multi PC or you're in vanilla. Now I have it here on server, but to be honest, you could download it, download it on vanilla. It doesn't matter. These two are the same. It doesn't make a difference. Now I already downloaded it. Here, here we go with the fabric installer. So you're going to open it up, but this time you're not going to install the client because you already have the client. I'm guessing you do. So instead you're going to click on this little tab that says server, and then you're going to pick which one you want. Um, I, I want this one because I don't want the one point. I don't want the 1.14.1 because we're not playing on that. And we're going to install it right there. Install. And we're going to get one here. So there we go. We have the fabric launcher jar. And we're going to have to actually exit this. All right. So a lot of people will tell you to download the Minecraft server jar from their website, but I recommend that you do not. The reason why I say this is due to the fact that it's 1.14 and personally, if you're playing at 1.14.1, you could go right ahead, but I'm playing on regular 1.14.0. So we don't download this. Instead, we go here and we go to our, uh, we go to our launch settings. We add a new one. We down, we pick the one that we're going to be playing. We're playing on one point. 14 we'll just save it because we're going to delete that anyways and then we're going to click on here to the 1.14 and we're going to download the server and we download the server file so we're going to get the server file the server jar and we're going to put it right here with the server launch now keep in mind we don't need the fabric installer anymore you could delete it and uh it didn't let me delete it because it's still open now i'll delete so keep in mind, you don't have to have it on your desktop. I have this on my desktop. Um, you could put it in your Minecraft folder if you choose to. That's where my other one is at, actually, my 1.14 server. I have it on the root of the Minecraft, and I called it server stuff, and I call the server 1.14 server due to the fact that uh, I will eventually make other servers that are not just 1.14. So what you want to do now, you want to open uh, the server with fabric server launch all the time when you open it you're gonna have to open it with this one it requires this but at the end of the day you still okay i gotta close this one so you require to start the server with this one so you're gonna try to open this one now keep in mind it's gonna load and it's gonna have two to the eula you're gonna see the EULA over here. You're gonna do true. This has been done for Minecraft server for many years. This is, if you're, if you're new to it, then just make sure to always put true on the EULA. But it's a very common procedure that most people always do. All right, once you do that, you wanna make sure to get some mods and you wanna put the mods you want to put the mods in the mod folder. So we're just going to just copy all these. Copy and paste it. Simple. Just like that.
your server you could change all that stuff i'm not gonna go through this due to the fact that uh there you could go to the minecraft wiki and they could show you that but anyways we add the mods and then we actually start the server again this time we'll start it for real uh when we started it it just installed everything but now we can finally start it now keep in mind it's gonna take a while because it does have to make a world or if you guys are you already have a world you've been playing to you can always import it as well simple as that this may take a while as you can see it's already making the configs for the for the mods so it's already working and it's already updating the the world and it's gonna open then you're gonna see it on your multiplayer you got to put your IP or local host an example I'll show you right now <laughs> so I'm gonna delete this I'm at a server localhost and boom it's gonna it's gonna add the server either you put your IP or localhost and your server will pop up so let's join this world right now what's going on oh wow so there you have it people there's your server I guess he doesn't like he's a nitwit that explains a lot <laughs> so there you have it sorry for the lag sometimes it lags when I enter the game but then it just it, the frame rate goes back to normal eventually so there you have it there's your uh there's your server. Here's an example of the server. It does have mods. I just want to show you some of the mods. Um, the emerald, the turtle shell. So I guess you could wear, you could wear a turtle outfit, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm wearing a turtle, turtle shell. Probably not going to be great for people <laughs> due to the fact that people don't want to kill turtles, but those who do will probably enjoy this so there you have it that's how you make a server easy as one two three if you're playing on the fabric loader anyways i hope this video was very helpful for you if you have any questions please let me know until then i'll see you guys around and i'm out